Councillor Ray. Scotty, you didn't have an appointment. You were really meeting up with the Kumars, weren't you? I had lunch with the Kumars today because I wanted their blessing before I asked you to marry me. So, will you? You can say something now. No. No. No, I don't mean no, I mean... We're gonna try this again. We're gonna rewind to the bit where I just get home. We can't do that. Yes, we can. See? Hi, honey. I'm home. Tracy. No, the... How was your day? Fine, thanks. Good. How was yours? Oh, you know, it's pretty uneventful, nothing exciting or life-changing. <laughs> so, did you have anything you wanted to ask me? Actually, yes. Did you pick up the bread and milk on your way home? Anything else? No. <laughs> okay. There was something else. Tracy. You've been my roommate, my rock, my best friend. You're strong, determined, funny, and beautiful. I never thought I'd love someone else, let alone love someone as much as I love you. I owe you so much. As of last week, I owe you my... <laughs> I want to spend my life loving you and making you as happy as you've made me, Tracy. So please, would you be my wife? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> oh, stay there. <laughs> Shouldn't it be champagne? <laughs> I hadn't quite chosen an engagement ring yet. Well, this one is lovely and a little bit sharp. <laughs> I tried as hard as I could, but I couldn't keep up. I'd fail one test, and before I had a chance to reset, another test would come up, and I'd fail that too. And I'll keep on failing because I just hate every little bit of it. And I spent so much money on the course and equipment. Mum's gonna be gutted. She'll be more disappointed if she finds out that you've been hiding the truth from her. Trust me, I'm a mother too. If you were my daughter, I'd want to know. I'd want to help. She'll understand. Oh, she'll be mad first. But I guess it's like ripping off a wax strip. If you do it fast, it only hurts for a second. Good girl. Home time. Hi. Is everything okay? It's been a hard day. But I'm fine now. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. What? You secretly love it, don't you? Love what? Dishing out advice, mopping up tears. Make me sound like an old mother hen. Well, that's because you are. In the best possible way. You're a lovely person, Yvonne. And you're a true friend. And we are all lucky to have you. Welcome back. <laughs> mm, dinner's almost ready. How are you? Good. Really? Yes, really good. What's happened, happened, and there's no need to talk about it because I'm moving on. Duty free. Dinner's almost ready? Yeah, well, the pizza guy said quarter two, so, yeah. <sighs> oh, good to see you went to so much trouble for your sister, son. There's no need to make a fuss. Plus, I have news. Uh-oh. What kind of news? My new focus. The IV. I'm going to be working day and night to make sure that place is a success. Hold on. Day and night. Where does study come into that? There's no time. Not anymore. I have a business to run, too, if you count the cafeteria. Sophie, no. I can study any time. Yeah, good on you, Soph. Excuse me? What person her age has this kind of opportunity? I mean, learning to run her own business is way more useful than anything she'll learn at university. That's exactly what Mum said. Did she? Lovely. Three against one. <sighs> OK. Brody can take you through the day-to-day -day running. He's done a pretty good job while you've been away. Well, that's great. The place will be in good shape for me to take over. Ouch! I think your engagement ring just got the back of my neck. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Dad, hi. Can I tell him? So 
Sorry, what was that? Yeah. Yeah, I'll tape it. Sure. No, no, we're fine here. Nothing major to report. Righto, yeah. No, I'll, I'll see you then. Bye. What was that about? I haven't asked Gordon for your hand yet. <laughs> it's my hand and you ask me. It's the 21st century, remember? I know, but Gordon's old-fashioned and I think he'd appreciate the courtesy, even if it is a done deal. Wouldn't you like to tell them our news in person? Have us tell them our news in person? Yes. So, when are we going? Morning, Yvonne. Here's your workhorse. Hi. See you for lunch? Yes, please. So, you told your mother about the beauty school? Not even. Didn't you notice she's still talking to me? But I thought that you... Yes, but then I realised it wasn't the right time. She'll take the news much better when I've got a proper full-time job. Finding full-time employment is not easy, you know. I'm young. I'm hard-working. I'm... Whoa. Who is that? <sighs> Isaac Worthington. He's one of our surgeons. Isaac! Don't call him over here on my account. I'm not. Mail for you. Thanks, Yvonne. Doing you. Bella, Isaac Worthington, Isaac Bella. I bet these hands can work magic. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I've had that exact feedback a number of times. Oh, for pity's sake. From his patients. He's a surgeon. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hope to see you again while you're here. Oh. Oh, sick. don't even go but there. I just... We don't want to make any more mistakes like yesterday. Let's keep our minds on the desk, not the doctors. Kia ora, Shorten Street. Profit margins. Ah. And back here, profit margins when Kieran was running the show. Do I need to draw you a graph? No, I can see that that way up. Um, how do you do that? Well, the customers respond to my good looks and charm. <laughs> or it could be that this job is actually my one sole focus. Unlike uh, he who shall not be named, I don't have dodgy deals going on on the side, so I'm not distracted and I'm worrying about when I'm going to get busted. Okay, I get it. I am the best thing that's happened to this place, so if you need me... Give yourself props. Well, it's true. And anyway, somebody has to. Not that I was thinking otherwise. So... What are these big ideas for the IV? Something that we can work on together? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I don't want you there. I want you there. What now? This computer's got a mind of its own and it's twisted and... How did you manage to do that? It wasn't my fault. If you just hit this and then that and then that, that's fine. Morning, Dr. Mackay. Good morning. Your mail's right here. Uh, it was right here. Until Gerald took it upstairs, as he does every morning. Oh, right. He's very efficient, isn't he? Yes. Uh, he's also going to be flat out today, so I'll need one of you to type up these reports for me. Certainly. When would you like them by? Half an hour? <laughs> well, if you can manage it in half an hour, I would be delighted. Oh, absolutely. Not a problem. Thank you very much. Well, you get started on that, and I'll finish the staff directory. Thanks, Yvonne. Is he mad? I can't type this up in half an hour. Well, why did you say you could? I didn't realise he wanted a whole novel. I can't do this. I'm not fast enough. I'll do it. You copy and distribute that. You rule, Yvonne. Uh-oh. I don't think this photocopier likes me much. 